Anyone can do that impersonation. It's the easiest one. Holy fuck, Konami! No, no, this isn't a legit game. Come on. I guess it is. When the fuck did Konami make... I, well, they did make Batman Returns on the Super Nintendo. I just didn't know that they made an NES version. Well, let's start it out. Speaking of which, I can't do a Christopher Walken to save my life, and that's who's talking right now. It is a peaceful winter night in Gotham City! The I, I tried. The Ice Princess is about to light up the Christmas tree for the citizens. I do like the line that Christopher Walken does. It's like, Bruce Wayne, you're Batman? Why are you dressed like Batman? What a cast. Danny DeVito is the penguin. Suddenly a huge gift box appears and the Red Triangle Circus Gang busts out of the wrapping. Gotham Plaza changes from a festive party to a horrifying bedlam. Could you imagine if Burton was in charge of Batman forever and we would have gotten the, um, uh, you know, the, the guy that played Apollo? We, we would have gotten that Two-Face instead? The bat signal blazes into the sky and Batman returns to Gotham City. I think the secret to a walk-in is you almost have to, like, break your voice slightly. And it's funny, I can I can kind of do a decent walk-in when no one's listening, but when the pressure is on, I can't do walk-in at all. I gotta practice it better. Oh man, I'm Batman. Alright, here I go. I got a jump kick. I'm gonna punch your lights out. There we go. Fuck yeah, I'm <laughs> This music! Yeah, that old school Batmobile. I mean, he set up Two Face in the first two movies, right? Um, with Carl Weathers, right? Oh wait, who played who played him? Is, no, it's the guy that played um fucking Lando, isn't it? Shit, Billy D. Williams, not Carl Weathers. Billy D. Williams would have made an amazing fucking Two Face. Yeah, the, I like the animated series because because that one had like that 50s vibe. Get over here and get Batman. That's right, I'm Blue Batman. Got a problem with Blue Batman? Oh, what do you got, legs? Let's go. I like how my item is no use. Oh wait, I got I got an item now. Okay, how do I use it? Oh, there we go. Take that! I got a bat... bat thingy. Bat dick punch. Oh, he's got a... he's got a slide. Come on, you ass clowns! He plays hard. <laughs> yeah, we get the mayor of Gotham coming in. I like the cape animation when he does the kick. That's a nice touch. Hey, this isn't too bad. Like, I was expecting it to be really shitty, but it's not. Like, the sprites are really big and detailed. Um, the atmosphere is really dark. Yeah, it, it is. It's basically Ninja Turtles with Batman sprites. You're right, ball busting, babe. For the Detective Pikachu. <laughs> oh, that would have. Oh man, that movie. I thought that movie was fake. Like I thought that Shazam and the Sonic movie were like fake movies. Like they weren't actually. It's like you can't be serious, right? But no, it turns out those are actually gonna happen. I'm like, so they're gonna look like that, and it's gonna be like that? Oh my god, that's awful. Looks good, does it? Look at this guy's fucking, like, helmet. Ugh! 
I just find it really bizarre. Look, I'm on ice, so I slide around. Yeah, I find it really bizarre to do these live action, like, characters that should never be live action, because they give them that realistic fur. You know, it's like these, they're, they're cartoon characters. <laughs> like, it's just weird to me. It reminds me of, like, the Woody Woodpecker and the Yogi Bear movie. You know, it's like, we, we, they're like cartoon an anthropomorphic bears with realistic fur and the cartoon eyes in a real world. It's like, like, why can't they just make the whole thing CGI? That, uh, that would be a lot less distracting. <laughs> Oh, man. Gonna see it? Alright. Grab that health. <laughs> it does! It's like, who would have okayed that? It... Eh. I mean, uh, no, it'll definitely be a spectacle. The battle in front of the plaza. That was an in- Oh, there's a Christmas tree! Who's this guy? He throws barrels? Holy shit! So he just has a fit. He, he's got genie pants. And he just- He- he fights like nerd rage. You know, like- Like he- he's like the IT guy at work, and you just pissed him off like he took his sandwich, and he's like, GIVE ME BACK MY SANDWICH! Fuck. <laughs> it's like, that's not even a punch. Like, what is that? I'm gonna bat slide into him. And thank you for the follow there, uh, ice, ice wall, ice wall come. <laughs> hey, that's a great look at, there's passwords? They give zero fucks. Yeah, he was, he was doing Lariat. All right, I'm continuing. Son of a bitch. That's how Batman needs to, like, travel. Just bat slide everywhere. I bet you if I just do this, like, I'll, I'll easily beat everybody. Right. I mean, I guess, I guess a buddy cop movie works. It worked for Roger Rabbit. Man, Michael Keaton was such a good Batman. And everyone, like, you know, might disagree with that, but it's like, what made him a great Batman was that he was a great Bruce Wayne. Because you, you look at him as Bruce Wayne and you go, that guy can't possibly be Batman, but he is. That clown remembered he had a gun. was pretty good. I mean, for Camp Batman, I, I prefer Adam West over Clooney any day. And you know, Affleck wasn't that bad of a Batman. If they would have went with an older Batman kind of feel, you know, like... Like a Batman in like, you know, his 40s, right? But he's still Batman because, you know, who else is going to be Batman? That would have been kind of neat. Oh no, yeah, Arnold is definitely the best Mr. Freeze. Arnold makes that fucking movie. It's like no one told him that that, that movie is shit, so he actually is acting. Everyone else is just phoning it in. Arnold's like taking it really serious, like he got into the actual character of Mr. Freeze. <laughs> What's up, Demonic Sandwich? Also, like, all the Arnold puns that he had, right? As Mr. Freeze? Like, chill out! <laughs> Ice to meet you! What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! <laughs> like, he is the only reason to watch that movie! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
Uh, Arnold's the king of one-liners. That's that's kind of the main reason he got big. I mean, like, if he wasn't so good at delivering them, you know, like, I mean, yeah, he would have been in, like, Conan and shit like that anyways, but he wouldn't have gotten the roles he got later on. Because there were plenty of other, like, big, muscly guys that never, like, went anywhere, you know? I mean, who could say the line, Asa La Vista Baby, and make it sound cool? No one. No one. It's it's like the dumbest fucking line I've ever heard. Can I speak to the tip? Also, Last Action Hero is extremely underrated. ACDC does the soundtrack? Well, they fucked it up by, okay, first off, like, wh what's the deal with Robin? You know, they get the guy from, like, Party of Five or whatever to be Robin. And then, like, why do their suits have nipples? Like, what's that all about, too? Yeah, Last Action Hero is... And it was made during the time that those movies were a thing. Like, it's it wasn't made, like, ten years after making fun of those movies. It was made when... Those action movies were like, you know, in theaters. Oh yeah, they did do the soundtrack for Maximum Overdrive. Like, remember Tango and Cash? Tango and Cash is like the most ridiculous fucking movie. And it's kind of- wow, that does no damage to you? Really? Like, that's- that's like the real version of Last Action Hero. My, my favorite part is when they go into the movie store, and it's like they got that mock-up of Stallone as the Terminator. The nips make the suits. Well, fair enough. To improve my physique. Oh, yeah, you're right. He didn't need a, a fake. Oh, wait, I better get this bat case. Shreks. What does the bat case do? Do I get, like, a new weapon? Let me look. No, I have the same shit that I always have. You know what a, a, another good Batman Returns game is that no one talks about? is the Master System version of Batman Returns. Scarecrows. With, like, like ping-pong bazookas. Yeah, he had various repellents. He had a whole bunch of them, too, because I guess sharks always attack you in a helicopter. Well, okay, here's the thing. Here's how weird the 60s are, Nars. Um, Adam West and William Shatner were considered sex symbols. Think about that. Like, they were leading men. That being said, those, uh... Speaking of, um, of beer guts and, like, Star Trek, right? Uh, you can tell, like, in Deep Space Nine when the actor that plays Cisco starts wearing a girdle. Gotta wait just a few. And apparently a lot of male actors, you know, when they get older, wear, wear the girdle. <laughs> you could also tell that with Shatner. But well, remember though, like that was back before before steroids and all the performance enhancements. So like, you know, you could be an action star and have the beer gut. Now it's like, no, you gotta have, you gotta be cut and all this other shit. Who's this? Wow, that's some weird architecture. That's why, like, in, in Star Trek Deep Space Nine, as well as Next Gen, the actors were like, Oh, thank God they changed the uniforms. Because the old uniforms were like a pain in the ass. You always see them, like, tucking their shirt. Like, they always have to do the shirt tuck, because it's just really uncomfortable. And then it became jumpsuits, which were way more comfortable and more flattering. <laughs>
The best Deep Space Nine episode is the one where Cisco and all the crew go back in time and they're just in the background while Kirk and Spock are doing shit. And they actually did a good job blending it in with, like, what happened in the episode, too, with the Tribbles. That and, like, the Magnificent Ferengi. That, that's also a really good episode. Because that one has Iggy Pop. Remember this guy in the movie, right? Like, he breathed fire, and then Batman turned his car around and burned his ass alive, and then laughed about it? That was awesome. <laughs> He's like, he has a little smirk, it's like, I burned that guy alive. That was cool. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> You remember also in that movie where, like, this guy has this dynamite and Batman puts it on his belt and then throws him down an elevator shaft and the guy blows up? That was also pretty cool. Oh shit, it's Catwoman. And she's purple. I will destroy this building! Looks like a pretty good, good cinematic for the NES. Shrek's department store. To the roof! Is everything in Gotham fucking creepy as shit? Damn, even a toy store! Like, you come in, there's a big... Felix the Cat from your nightmares. Yeah, my... <laughs> that's... That's what made those Batmans really cool. Apparently, Batman Returns was too dark. It's like, why? What, what, what was dark about it? What, was it when, when Catwoman used a taser to kiss Christopher Walken and turned him into a skeleton? I thought that was pretty funny. He pulls a sword out of the guy. Oh, yeah, you're right. What is... I got a box. Like, I don't know what's in it, and I don't know how to activate it. Oh, wait, I got I got a cape attack that takes my health, so I'm never going to use it. Do I have, like, special moves? Yeah, he kidnaps all the, all the firstborn. You know, because cause he was supposed to be Copplepot or whatever, right? He was like the firstborn male. And so his revenge was to kidnap all the firstborn and then like get a bunch of penguins to launch nukes. <laughs> but <laughs> all those penguins. And then he had a giant uh, rubber ducky tank thing. God, that movie is amazing. <laughs> like... I also like that scene where, like, Batman has that batarang and then he programs the targets. You know, because he's surrounded by the organ grinder guy, that dude, and that, like, that woman with the dog. And so he's like, he selects the targets and the thing, like, attacks all of them, but then the dog grabs the batarang. I thought that was, like, a really cool gadget that he used. And I also think that was like the first time we really got to see the bat grapple be used all the time. All the criminals and villains are leftover clown gang, right? It's like, I remember where, like, you know, when I first saw the original Batman movie, I thought the grappling hook was just fucking cool. Especially when he used it to round the corner faster in the Batmobile. Some people might not like uh, that Batman though, because number one, he killed people, and number two, the Batmobile has machine guns. But I'm like, hey, fuck it, man. You might as well put machine guns on your Batmobile and your Batplane. Oh, this is the only time I get to use the. Speaking of the grappling hook, this is like the only time I get to use it, huh? Is up this fire escape. Can I not get in the door? Oh, all right. What the hell? I guess I guess it's flooded and then like electricity. Oh, the signs in the water. Okay, that's like half-life detail right there.
What sucks is trying to kill these guys. Can I scroll forward now? Okay. Watch out, they got wrenches, I believe. A little toy helicopters. rather it just hurt me yeah he basically is like you know there there is this assumption that it had batman just fucking killed the joker the first time he caught him all those people that the joker killed and stuff like you know since then wouldn't have died so in many ways batman facilitates like the bad guys by simply not killing him I mean, I get he doesn't want to kill, but it's like... Now, Batman's fucked in the head. I mean, that's kind of- that's kind of clearer. You ever see, you ever read this comic where, like, Superman is in the future? And then, like, he fights a mutated Batman? because uh, clones of Hitler made him. Oh, I don't, uh, they don't refill my batter rings. Well, hopefully I don't have to fight those fucking clowns. Damn it. No, I never read that one. It's probably for the best. It's really terrible. It's just funny because there's clone Hitlers. It's like, man, it couldn't just be one Hitler, it had to be two Hitlers. Really, really up in the ante there. He was brought up in Russia. Also, who the fuck clones Hitler? Like, out of all the people, why would you ever clone Hitler? And then to do it twice. I get, like, cloning Elvis or cloning, like, you know, uh, Einstein or some shit. Or Stephen Hawking, but I don't- I don't get the whole, like, why would you clone Hitler in the first fucking place? Of course he's gonna take over everything. Right, now... I have no idea how to, like, get past this part. Just don't fall down. Cause it's like, I can't- I have no, like, attack that goes up. Except this. Maybe I'm supposed to hit him with this? There we go. Okay, that's what I was supposed to do. Right, I know, right? Like, it's not like he's like a superhuman or anything, but I guess that's why you clone two of them. Oh, these- these Teddy Ruxpins are creepy. Line up the shadow. You know, I'm glad this isn't just a port of the Super Nintendo game, like it's its own game. Twice as many... <laughs> and so far, the worst Batman Returns game I've played is the Genesis one. Even though I like the use of its weapons, it, it's it's just not very solid. That being said, I like the driving parts in the Sega CD version. A lot of magical speakers, yeah, like why not get Aristotle or something? The battle on the ivory tower. It was nice. Oh, they even animated her little backflips. Why do you interfere with my revenge? Press a button. I can't afford not to interfere. Don't underestimate me because I'm a woman. All right, I'm gonna punch you then. There you go. Backflip your way out of that. Oh shit. 
<laughs> oh, she's got claws. Look out. Damn it. Speaking of which, the fight choreography in the movie was pretty cool, too. Because you felt that Batman hit harder, but you knew that Catwoman had the agility. Oh my god, she's just gonna jump. Oh, way to spam your somersault. <laughs> oh god. Oh, now she's got the whip. She brought out the whip. Fuck. Do I have any batarangs left? No. That's okay. The bat slide. I'll, I'll fuck up her knees. Hey, there's Danny DeVito. I'm planning to trap Batman. What an exciting idea. Ice Princess looking looking for the Ice Princess. Oh, that was a pretty good likeness of Danny DeVito in an 8-bit game. Dude, he made the penguin, man. <laughs> like, no one could play a flipper baby penguin like Danny DeVito, let me tell you. I also like the gadgets that he used. You know, like he had those umbrellas and stuff, like he had that one that he could use to fly. You know, it, it's like, it's like the movie's really goofy and shit, but it's also like really dark. Like, he's like, he dresses like a penguin, has the top hat, but he's got like umbrellas with machine guns. Who's this? Oh my god! Being caught by the penguin? I know, right? Who knows what these villains would do to him? Mayor. Man, the penguin almost became mayor, too. I like how everyone always forgets, too, Christopher Walken was in it, and he's like the other bad guy. He's like the third bad guy. Yeah, yeah, that's what he framed Batman for killing the Ice Princess. Yeah, th remember Penguin's death? Too, and like how um, he basically died in, paja in like pajamas and everything and then like uh, the penguins like grab him and put him in the sewer water I remember the toys like you could buy like two of the penguins right and they came with the um, they came with the little rocket pack I really you know what like I want to see that rebooted I want to see the Tim Burton Batman universe Get a real sequel to it. That'd be that'd be awesome. I mean, it's too late now to get all the original actors, but fuck, if we can do Ghostbusters three, why why not a, a real Batman three? Oh yeah, you're right. It, it is his own penguins. And I would, I would even make the argument, too, the toys were better in Batman Returns and Batman Forever. Even though that was the big complaint about Batman uh, Returns from the advertisers and marketers, it's like, 
movie's too dark, we can't sell toys. And it's like, really? Because I, I would rather get those toys, they're way cooler. Alright, Nars, you have a good one. Uh, I got a password. Then, that he ordered to blow up the city, right? Killed, killed by what he loved there. Uh, let's see, how long have I been streaming? About three and a half hours. Uh, I might call it a day. Let's do that. Or I might be back on after a break and play some more NES, or I might hook up the Genesis. Um, but I'll try to get a guitar stream done, like, sometime this weekend. Um, I don't want to do one on Friday, but I might do one on Friday. What's up, Nupti? How you doing? How's your day going? I was about to end the stream. <laughs> uh, I thank you, Ball Busting Bay, for being here, and thank you, Nupti, for showing up. And anyone else who's, like, lurking. Oh my goodness.